Okay. I am Tracy Weinzapple. I'm the president of Helmar USA. Uh, to answer Janet's question, which was just posed, Glue Dad and I, my Glue Mom and Glue Dad are in the house tonight. Glue Dad is making a very cool Helmar glue shelf for moi. And he is sending me the prototypes and the drawings. We discussed it today. I told him what I would like, and I told him we need to make those available for sale. So um, I'm here in my studio. If you hear a dog barking, that is the fur ball, Penny. And you'll probably see um, my kids coming in and out. Yeah, Penny has been sick this past week, so she cost me a bit of money for some very expensive Pepto-Bismol. And, yeah, Glue Dad is the one who um, designed and built this studio with me. It is my dream place. It is the happiest place on earth. It is painted yellow just for that purpose because I love the sun. And now he is making me. See, this is my um, Helm Art glue holder. A lot of you have seen it. This holds my glue. But I have to hold a lot of my glue. And I always put them in upside down spice racks. Like these are little spice jars. So my dad and I have already designed what the Helmar glue holder is going to look like. And he is sending me drawings and prototypes. And he even said today, I'm going to make yours extra special. So I'm a daddy's girl. Um, and I, I'm going to uh, just say that if you have, I, I, I don't have a moderator here, but I will look if, um, <laughs> probably some of our regulars could be my moderator. Uh, if you don't, um, if you don't, if you've not fanned us on Facebook, you have to. Mrs. Spence, are you having trouble? Um, I'm sorry, Ustream is so finicky, but it's free, so maybe one day we'll figure out. But I don't want to, you know, I never, I want to be here for free. I want to be here for free. Um, you want to watch? Yes, you may watch. Sorry. If you freeze up, I, I'm so sorry. Um, you might need to log in and log back out, but trust me, the project I have unplanned is, oh yeah, can you give me that, the other picture too, the picture that's up there? Um, you won't be missing anything, it, and I'm going to, re I've recorded this, so if you do miss something, uh, you'll be able to go back and see it. Yes, I'll talk about it later. Okay, so my daughter's <laughs> asking me questions at the same time. This is a... You know, this is why you guys are not paying for this production. Uh, anyway, so if you've ever been a part of one of my classes before, whatever happens, happens. Normally I have something planned, but I was gone last week at Inspired. I was, um, uh, I taught a mini workshop at Inspired, and it was amazing. I had the best week. Helmar was in the house, and there was not a uh, person who didn't know what Helmar was. And I, I, I will share a couple of the projects that I made. Um, I did not make this bag. Okay, I will say, I will not, I did not make this bag, but uh, my bag that I did made is on, it's on its way back. This is a bag made out of recycled plastic. This is actually made by Tracy Lampy. We had this really awesome class, and Tracy Lampy, she spells her name wrong. Don't tell her I said that, but she might watch the recording later. She spells her name totally wrong. I wore her ID for one day, and it was, uh, her and I are like soul sisters, only she is messy and recycles. I am an OCD addict and do not recycle. However, if I ever become poor and become a bag lady, this is what I am going to be carrying underneath the underpass, just so you know. This, she signed it for me. She made this for the class, and she's super, super cool. So, hi, Tracy, if you're watching. I also took Susie Blue's class, and I made this um, rendering of me. I know. The flowing hair gives it away, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, but this is my saying. She remained true to herself. That's about as true as this. I don't own a big green flowing dress, and my hair is not that way. But it was super cool to take a, a class with Susie Blue. I took these amazing classes. Um, Mrs. Fence, is Tracy your first name? Oh, okay, we're, everybody's asking questions to one another. Um, I took these amazing classes, and I got to teach one myself. And, oh, Mrs. Fence's name is Tracy. She spells it wrong, too. Sorry. But we've, you know, Tracy, 
Tracy IE and um, Mrs. Fence, we can all agree if we go by Trace, we're all pretty cool. We're all pretty right there. Um, I took these amazing classes. I taught a class. And if you have a chance to go to our blog at helmarusa.typepad.com, you can see um, a replay of the pictures and the things that we did. It was great. I taught a mini workshop. The mini workshop I taught. How many of you guys are joining me in the Inspiration Journal? Come on, come on, come on. Remember, we made this online a couple weeks ago. Is Glue Mom on finally? Happy birthday, Glue Mom! There, Glue Mom is on. Happy birthday to you. Okay. So, are you guys felt? Okay, there we go. People are saying I'm doing the journal. Okay. So, I have been sharing pages on my blog. And I was going to remake a couple of pages tonight, but um, that would be cheating. So, we're going to start. Um, if you are not joining me yet in the inspiration journal thing, it's not too late. I know I said we're going to do it. We're going to do it in May and June. I just awarded the winner. Mine stinks compared to yours. Too busy scrapping. You had better email that to me and I will find you. You have to email me your pages. Okay. Yes. Glue mom's birthday was May 17th. Okay. Here, you have that explicit. Um, so, w w Mom, we didn't re reveal your age. You're okay. And Leanne is make. I know Leanne, if she's here, she's making a book, too. If you guys, um, there is a link on Helmar's blog about this. Join me in the Inspiration Journal. We made this at Inspired. We, had, we did a class in Inspired, and all 15 ladies were, like, it was amazing. It was so great. I mean, like, the creativity was just spewing out of our ears, okay? And I had such a great time. So if you're joining me in this inspiration journal, email me, and I'm going to type it. I'm going to write it. Email me your pages. And who are uh, too busy scrapping? Oh, is that Leanne? Oh, I'm, Leanne, I've seen your pages that you sent. Oh, she is so, she is so in trouble. She's one of our design team members, too. I love when I get them in trouble. Okay. Okay, here's my email address. If you're, she is so in trouble. I'm not going to mail out her design team box. Yeah. Don't mess with the boss. Okay. So if you're joining me tonight, I was going to do this, and I thought to myself, no, I'm going to wing it. And I, do, yeah, there you go, Leanne. Do not mess with me. Um, okay, this is the deal. We're going to do a project tonight. I am ill-prepared. I'm going to open up my shades now because I think the light's going down. And I would like it to be lit in my room. Okay, there we go. Got to see the palm trees, girls. I'm going to switch cameras anyway. We're going to glue something tonight. We may not finish it, and I apologize. Uh, we have been really busy at Helmar. Uh, we just got a huge order in. And my UPS guy, I don't think, is no longer talking to me because every day at Helmar we say, we have five boxes, and he picks up 30. So um, it's been really busy. And today I sat down to um, work on this project, and something else got in the way. Uh, and I have a sick dog. She's better. So we're going to sit down and make a project and um, hope it works. Okay? And if it doesn't, then I will never share this link on, um, and we'll, we'll never talk about it again. I'll delete it. I'm the boss, and that's how it goes. All of a sudden, I'm going to see a bunch of people just eliminate themselves. So I do want to share one thing because my daughter's not here right now. I don't know if anybody's following her art journal, but if anybody remembers that she is an artist but has a little bit of an issue spelling things. Um, she, okay, so anyway, she has been working in her art journal, and when she comes back in here, I will let her take credit, but I just thought it was so cute. I don't have the heart to tell her that that is totally smelled wrong. So, that's going on in this house. And I have to tell you, I picked up so many awesome things at Inspired. This is 
watercolor, um, like a pad of watercolor paper that, that I really need to talk to them about the binding. Okay, I guess I could rebound it. Um, it's paper and you just wet it. I used it on the airplane. The ladies next to me thought I was out of my mind. Okay. Is that Karen? Karen is in the house. She is one of the um, the Three Stooges. Hi, Karen. Okay. I am going to switch cameras. Okay. So we're going to work on this project. Again, um, being that somebody just said I'm the queen, if this project does not work out, we will never, ever talk again. Okay. Just, just so you know, I'm going to grab one thing. And I will tell you tonight, I went into my bags of things that I could alter, and I was next to uh, altering my children. It was like, okay, I have nothing. I picked out these board books. This is Winnie the Pooh, because I saved a lot of their board books. Oh, gal, mom, no, this is no such thing as a failed project. And nothing like doing it on, not on air. This is just a board book, okay? Five or six, seven pages. You can pick these up anywhere. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I go to my kids' elementary school and they have the used book fair. I buy like a hundred, okay? So cheap. We're going to play with glue on this. Dollar store. Awesome idea. Those golden books, those are fun. Okay, as for Carrie, the youngest eating the board book, you might want to take those out of their mouth. <laughs> you might want to tell them mommy is going to alter that and make an album out of it. Um, Goodwill. Awesome idea. You know, Salvation Army. Uh, awesome, awesome idea. So I have like a whole set of these, and I tore one apart, and I'm going to switch cameras. Here we go. Switching cameras. Oh, I love technology. Ready? There we go. Well done. Okay. I don't know why that's crooked, but everybody see my space? Oops, I'm going to put this light down. If you don't have board books, they're a super great idea, okay? They're just so inexpensive. <laughs> there we go. Mrs. Fence has a bunch. Okay, so this was my idea. And, of course, I haven't done anything. So we're just going to start afresh. I tore this board book apart, okay? I just took the, I split the binding with an X-Acto knife. Okay, and then I just tore it apart. And then my whole idea, my whole idea was to split these pages in half, okay, and then I'm going to bind it. I'm going to leave the page whole. I'm going to bind it like this on the end so that it opens up like a door. That's the idea. <laughs> Doris. Doris, we're going to work really fast. But this is what I'm going to do to save time. I am going to, we're going to start covering the pages first, and then I will go back and cut it, okay? So is this a card or what? No, we don't really know what this is going to be. No, I think it's going to be an album. It's going to be bound on either side. Trust me, every time I say I'm going to make something, I do, okay? It's going to be bound on either side. And then it's going to open up like this, so every page will open up, okay? It'll be like a little door. <laughs> can't help you there Lizzie go you won't miss anything but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by covering a few of these pages and I will just tell you all I did was simply tear the binding apart with an exacto knife really any of these board books is great the only thing I did on this board book when I split it apart was I took this Zutter um, corner rounder to match the bot bottom you don't have to do this but I just rounded the corners Yes, I took all these books from my kids. I mean, do you think, really? No, I totally stole the books. So we're going to just play. All right, we're going to play with Helmar Blue. Okay? Will you allow me to do so? The other thing I did, and what I will go back and do, is I will sand the edges better, which, you know, I have this handy-dandy Tim Holtz sander. But you can do that after you even have the paper covered. But we're going to do, I just wanted to do, a, I wanted to show you a few techniques on the pages because we're going to make the whole album, okay? One technique would be to ooh, 
cover this whole thing in gesso, okay? That's easy. We know how to do that. That, that uses no glue. Gesso is super cool because it will eventually, like you will, it, it's like a whole new work surface. So I'm going to set this apart. I mean, I'm going to set this uh, um, aside. But gesso is kind of like priming your um, work surface. I love to paint. So somehow this will be painted and turn into something <laughs> in my spare time. Okay, see, page one is already done. Oh, you doubters, look at you. You all think I'm not going to make a project, okay? Look at you. Glue moms probably saying, I never doubted you. <laughs> and wait till you see the paper we're working with. I'm really excited about that, okay? So there we go, gesso, just to whiten up that page. And I'll do something on the back when this dries. I mean, we're, we're going to have a little bit of time here. And like I said, I'm going to split all these pages in half, and then you're going to have like a little doored book, okay? Everybody happy? I'm setting that aside. I'm putting that in the California sunny window to dry. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is pull out the paper I decided to work with. And the paper I decided to work with tonight is, ooh, let's put our gesso away. Are you guys all talking about, you don't want to know something funny? You guys are all talking about smells. I opened this paper, this pink paisley paper. Do you guys remember textbooks when you would open the um, textbook up and it would smell so good? I opened this paper up and it smelled like a textbook. Um, we're going to use this. I just thought it was pretty. This is pink paisley's pat paper. Oh, heavens, so pretty. Okay. So we're going to use, I'm just going to use this. I'm picking random paper. I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to eventually cover every single side, but you know, I won't bore you with the details here. Okay. This is pink paisley. Okay. So what I'm taking is Helmer's acid free glue. Okay. I need to, there we go. And I'll get us some more light. Okay. That's just Helmer acid free glue. <laughs> Don't you wish we had smell-o-vision? Um, and I am just covering this whole work surface. Okay, we make these really cool. This glue is, I, I've done a spotlight on it. I love it. I use it by, I mean, just endlessly. I'm just going to use this foam brush. Oh, now I wish my daughter would come back in here. I need her to wash brushes for me. All I'm doing is spread it around. We make glue spreaders too. Very easy. Joey, can you wash paintbrushes for me, darling? Okay. Go run these under the, um, go. Thank you. Actually, I'll keep this one. Okay. Go. Just go wash it off. Soap and water. Okay, all I'm doing is placing this down. Acid-free glue was originally a book-binding glue, so it goes on. And it is non-yellowing, it is permanent, it, it doesn't wrinkle the paper. So all I'm just gonna do, you could use a brayer. I don't I don't use any of those things. Just want to make sure my oh you know what? I had this out because I was gonna cut, but I haven't cut yet. I can cut later. Okay. Oh actually, look what I just said. I do have to cut. So all I do is just put this down, and what I try to do is just match up the end. Do you have a little bit of time to work with that? Acid-free glue can also be used as a decoupage. I don't, I have, um, you got to work kind of quick with it because it dries kind of quick. But I am telling you, just make sure you get the edges, and all I'm doing is just cutting around this. I'm not, and I'm not being exact, okay? Awesome. And Really what I'll do is I'll probably just come back in here with this corner rounder just to make sure my corners are clean. Oh, there goes the dog. Seriously, there goes the dog. Okay, a little sand of the edges. Yep, a little sanding. Wait till we get our distress inks on it. Okay, thanks, hon. 
great. My paintbrush was magically cleaned. So then we'll come back and cut this in half. I'm not too worried about it. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cover the other side with this other side. Okay? Probably one of my most favorite adhesives right here is this one. Again, like I said, I don't think I have anybody moderating for me. Sometimes the designers will pop on here, but if you don't see anybody, I will come back and answer questions, I promise. And I'm recording this, so if I like it, I'll share it, and if I don't, you'll, we'll just pretend it never happened. Huh. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay. I am very big, very, very, very big. I'm not very big. I, I don't mean that. I am very big in recycling, and I don't mean recycling plastic bags like Tracy Lampy. I mean I will use just about anything to alter it or make inexpensive projects. I think that everything can made, be made beautiful. Tracy Lampy used, she uses recycling. recycling. Um, I'm not that good at that. She can see beauty in it all, but I'm... Okay, you see how easy it is? What I'm probably going to turn this book into, I'm thinking, is like a mixed, um, like a mixed media arts book. I mean, I, I think by gessoing a few pages and repainting them, I think we're going to be able to, oh, there's, okay, there, I have a moderator, she doesn't know it yet, hi, Jess, can't find you, Jess can be, Jess can moderate, uh, Helmer does not sell gesso, the one you saw me using, I'm sorry, was golden, I, I, um, I, I use deco art, I use whatever I have. I'm not really picky. Whoever just asked that. Okay, Jess, I'm making you a moderator. I don't know if I can do it from there. Well, I can't find you. Jess, I wanted to make you moderator, but I can't find you on here. Oh, there you are. Jess can give me a hand. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. Oh, my daughter was in here using my supplies yesterday. Don't you hate that? Oops, that's my old board book. Okay. All right, what did I do with... That's not it. All right, I took one page and put it over there. Where did the rest of my pages go? Okay, there. Sorry about that, people. So this is going to be my back page, and I want to make it, oh my god, look at this paper. Seriously, is that so pretty or what? I hate to cut that in half, but I have to. Okay. Okay. I want to show you guys the crackle, because I'm going to paint that surface that we just did. Okay, I'll do one more page of this. And I'll probably just make that last page our cover. I think every one of these um, pink paisley papers are gorgeous. And I don't really worry about the edges too much because I'm going to take a sanding block to them. And whenever you take a sanding block to them and you distress the edges, whenever you use a distressing ink, um, I happen to use Marvy. I use all of their Heritage ink pads. I love them. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Then, and here, I'm going to use the back tape. Oops. Oy. Okay, come back, come back. I use all of Marvy's Heritage ink pads. I love them. They're right here. Look at that. Um, once you come back and sand the edges, it looks awesome. Oh, I wish I could see the chat, you guys. It's killing me. 
because isn't this good TV? Aren't you glad you guys paid the big bucks for this class? The unplanned class. I should learn to be a little bit more spontaneous, though. Okay. Oops. I'm cutting part of the board book. Okay. So what I do, come in, around the edges. Ooh, this other thing will go through anything. Ooh. Oh yes, I did, Doris. I did totally go in. I did. I did totally go spontaneous with that inspiration journal, and we had. I, I've have. I have had so much fun with that inspiration journal. I mean, I literally took that to inspired and taught that as a class. Best thing ever. Oh, I hope that panning is not hurting anybody's ears. Is that like a? That acid-free glue, by the way, is the most expensive, <laughs> I was going to say expensive, inexpensive white glues in the world. Sticks the best. I use it on all of my altar projects. And um, I don't bother with the small size. I mean, I get a good discount on glue, though, so I don't have to worry about it. But... <laughs> um, Awesome. And like I said, it can be used over the top as a decoupage because it dries clear. But Helmar makes a decoupage, which is to die for. So I don't ever even, I don't know. I get a good discount. <laughs> okay. I do want to paint this acrylic, the, this uh, that page that we just gessoed. We're kind of working all over the place. I just want to show, oh, no. I might have to take a heat gun to that. I might have a take have to take a heat gun to that. So we've covered. I'm not gonna cover this one. Look at that paper. Oh my goodness. I am in love in that way. We need to distress the edges. I hate the word distress, it sounds sad. I wish my job entailed just sitting here gluing all day. I think some of you think that that's what I do, but I really don't do that. Like, this is the best part of my job. Last, last week, traveling to Inspired, best, best part of my job. The rest of that stuff, like the paperwork, ick. Okay. 100 miles for me. Is that what you said, Lizzie, that you had to travel 100 miles to get Helmar? So worth it. What color are we going to pick? Okay. I love Marvie's Heritage. Okay, that's dark walnut. I love this color. This is called pond green. I love this color. This has got to be my favorite color. Okay. Oh, hello, happiness. Whoever thought pond green would make me really happy, but it really does. Okay, and I have this handy dandy. Whoever thought make gluing something would make me so happy. Ooh, see? Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm thinking I might like revamp this. Oh, look. Now I'm thinking, do we really make the little doors at the top or do we just make this one whole album? I don't know. I hate to split this paper up. I'll have to take a little vote here. Okay. Isn't that pretty though? <gasps> I'm making my own little scrapbook out of this probably five cent board book that I bought. The world's cheapest scrapbooker right here. It's a miracle what I can do with coasters. Who is loving the green? Or am I the only one? Or has everybody tuned out? Oh my God, there's more people. <laughs> Goodness, people. I hope you're all registered because I'm thinking we should give something away, huh? Okay, what do you think of that green? Is anybody happy about that green? Have we decided? Are we splitting this album up? I don't know. Oh my god. More more paper. More paper. Stat. Hold on. Can I can I heat gun something? Is that hold on, I'm gonna do it under my desk so nobody goes nuts with the noise. Is that too loud? 
split. Oh my god, Lizzie's trying to make this difficult on me. Keep it together. I think it's pretty. I seriously hope this turns into a project, people. Okay, I don't want to do too much work on this. I do not. Okay. Glue gun. Okay. Oh, it's still wet. <laughs> okay. What color should we paint this? Is there a nice rose colored? Rose colored glasses. A mauve. What do you think? Keep together. I'm thinking, guys. I don't know. What color? About, what's this? What do you think about that? Are we feeling that? Or do we want to go more green? I'm a sucker for green. I really am. Foliage green. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Light green. Pale pink. Pale pink. Oh, gal. You guys are really pressuring me tonight. I feel pressure. I feel lots of pressure. Hold on. One more heat gun. Fresh foliage. Come on, green, green, green. How about one side green, one side pink? Jeez, oh, Pete, you guys are killing me. I like the pink and the green. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just go with it, okay? Because I'm gonna crackle this. I don't know what this color is. Let's see. Does it say? Does it say? Okay, I have no French fresh moth. Oh, we're gonna get our crack out tonight. You guys, I'm not gonna make this over an hour. What time? Oh, 7.04. Go. Yeah. I'm recording it. At least I hope I'm recording it. Okay. Ready? Paint. We'll paint. We'll dry it. We'll crackle it. We may not see it crackle, but it will eventually be crackled. Okay? We're not caring. Wow. See, the great thing about gessoing something before is that it doesn't, um, it, it covers Winnie the Pooh. Okay? That is the cool part. We, we, we don't want to see Winnie the Pooh through our board book. This is going to be a nice album that we're making. Okay, heat gun. You guys, when I was inspired, I ruined just about every outfit that I wore there. How do you love listening to the heat gun? Jesse, you going to bed? Good night. Thank you for coming by. Okay, who has used Helmar's Crackle? Oh, paint that I buy. I use Deco Art pretty much. Oh, look at me bubble because I was sitting here watching you guys chat. Doesn't matter. I primarily use Deco Art and I love acrylic paint. I'm not even caring that this is not completely covered because we're going to. I want this to look distressed. Okay. Oh, good. Sandy has headphones on. She said I'm all good. So I am not um, to. I use a flat Deco Art paint, the Americana. They sell it at Michael's. I find it covers the best. Um, and if I want to do something glossy, Helmar makes an acrylic sealer. So if I want something glossy, I'll cover, come over with the glossy. Um, Helmar's Crackle, step one, step two. What you do is you put step one on there. Oh, goodness. Uh, you put step one on there, and then about 15, 20 minutes later, you come back and you put step two on there. And I will show you on my, uh, we did this live on Ustream. This was um, just a five by seven canvas. And when it comes back in, it crack, uh, after you do step two and it dries, it crackles, and then I just inked in the cracks. And I used the Marvy, I think that was the Marvy Pond Green that I used in there. You can't find Deco Art? Oh, oh I'm, I really, um, I think they're pretty, pretty well known. Oh, I need another paintbrush. Here we go. So all you do, this is step one. It Once it dries in 20 minutes, it still remains tacky. So you kind of don't really know it's dry, but it takes about 20 minutes. I mean, we'll be here till 4 a.m., so you guys will have plenty of time to have this dry, you know. This whole this whole project. We're going to have to do this in two parts, but I think I'm on next week. Oh, not Monday, because that's Memorial Day. Oh, shoot, we should plan another day. Maybe we should plan another day, huh? So what this will do is it, it will crackle the paint, 
it 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 um the second step is the good crackling part so all I'm doing is placing a even layer over this. This is going to dry. I'm going to go stick this in the California sun. Here we go. Put my paintbrush in the... I think I'm going to, we're going to decorate our cover. Okay. So then I'll come back in 20 minutes and I'll put that... Um, I will put that uh, step two over it. And that's where the crackling effect takes place. Got to clean my work surface. Getting too messy. Okay, throw this away. Oops, no, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so what are we gonna do next? Hold on, we have this. This is our back. Well, one of these is our back page. One of them should be our front page. It's so pretty. I'm thinking that butterfly thing. Hi, Becky. One of our retailers, and if you are a retailer, a home retailer. Shout it out. Becky is a Helmer retailer. She, I happen to know, has a very large Helmer order on its way. Mr. UPS man took it out the door today. If you are a Helmer retailer, shout it out. Put your link, put your blog, I mean, put everything on there. Becky is scrap-tastic.com. And I know she offers Helmer at 10% off, and she's an online retailer. So... Give her a shout out. Place an order with her. Okay, we're going to cover a couple more of these and I'm going to split it in half, okay? That dries, that acid free glue dries pretty quick. quick. And I'll do another page with the painting thing. I'm going to, I think I'm going to use that foliage green that we talked about that I put away because I want to show everybody. Like I said, this is going to be a two parter, I think. I hadn't really planned the direction of this album today because things have just been so busy. You know, I'm required to work every now and again, I guess. <laughs> and I have been away for a week, so. Okay. I'm kind of liking this whole unplanned thing. It works totally against my grain, though, you know. I w I'm not joking. I was like looking through the house saying, what the heck can I just, um, what can I, you know, alter? Okay. And, you know, I kind of looked at the kids. Somebody suggested on my Facebook page I alter the kids, and I actually gave them a sick second look, and I thought my son could use a good altering after yesterday. My son got his way on something yesterday, and he was going, uh, going to bed. My nine-year-old, I think some of you saw him, and his... I said to him, you know, I shouldn't have made that smoothie for you. And he goes, I know, I totally got away with what, I totally got away with it. I was like, oh, he was so right. He did get away with it. So tonight he said, Mom, can I have a smoothie? And I kind of looked at him and he said, I guess not. Glue Mom and Glue Dad know which kid I'm talking about. He is my, uh, I call him the peeper. He's the one that when I say, don't say a peep, he says, peep. And if he comes back in here, I'll make sure I point him out. And I have a 13-year-old son, too. But, you know, when they're 13, they hardly talk to you. <laughs> and you're no longer cool. Okay. Where's that sanding block of mine? Now, with the crackle, I will say this. If you want to speed the process up, because I am the worst impatient scrapbooker you've ever met. You saw me with a heat gun. I will heat gun everything, okay? You can kind of heat gun step one, but you really don't want to heat gun step two. Step two is a process. It does take 20 minutes. If you live in some of those warmer climates, I notice it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take too long. Um, oh, great cut job. Hold on. I left too much on here. I'm going to be sanding all night. Okay. So just so you know, um, I'm going to crackle that, I, I think, a couple of pages in this book. Oh, look at my nasty cut job. My knives are getting dull. So let me check in and see if there's any questions, okay? Oh, goodness. I'm getting grounded. Now, who's getting grounded? 
28 years old gal, I would, my nine-year-old, like I said, walked to his room last night. Mom, I'm totally getting away with what, what I shouldn't have be. I'm like, oh, great. He even knows it. I gave my latest project a light heat gun in step two because it had to dry vertical, but it didn't come out as nice. Yeah. Step, it'll give it a, I would say, you know, like if you want a deeper, wider, like crack. <laughs> Nobody wants a deeper, wider crack. Um, oh, this is being recorded. <laughs> um, then you don't want to throw the heat gun on it. I will tell you that I heat gunned, um, I heat gunned this page because I wanted it to bubble and, um, kind of, I mean, just give, like, really thick texture. Uh, yeah, if I could use the crackle on the cleavage, that would be a great plan. But that just isn't the way it works. So I will tell you that I purposely heat gunned this whole area because I wanted it to be, like, a drastic effect. Just like you would like with your cleavage. But, you know, hey, to each his own. I could make so many jokes right now. My mom is probably sitting there going, thank God she's shutting her mouth. Oh my God, what's going to come out of that mouth? Okay. Oh my goodness, pond green is making me happy. I am loving pond green today. Do you see how great acid-free glue is? It is the most inexpensive glue. And I order it by the big size, I know. I order it. Um, I walk into the warehouse and I grab it by the big size. Okay, that's what I do. But if I had to order it, that is how I would order it. But, you know, you want to probably try it out. Isn't that great? Ooh, that paper is beautiful. Okay, I think we should decorate the cover. We kind of get the gist. I'm taking this last page and I'm going to probably crackle it. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll see how it looks. I always give my project away. I'm wondering, huh, should they give this away? Maybe I shouldn't give it away until I know it's going to turn out. <laughs> glue Dad is here. <laughs> yes, Glue Dad's in the house. We have to we have to shout out to Glue Dad because Glue Dad is designing a Helmer holder. That's what I told him he needed to do. We have this great idea. Okay, clean up the work surface because otherwise, you know, I'll get a little... Okay, so we're going to do something with crackle on this, okay? Going to get our crack on for that. All right, and then, we did we decide if we're dividing the pages and making it like a little doorway with ribbon and what? What did we decide? And I'm thinking that this page should be our cover. And then in between will be like our painted crackle page. No, what is... No, you wanted it easy. I never wanted easy, Doris. I want to make this as complicated as possible. No? Okay, we're just going to make a book out of this. Postcards? It's really thick. And I, I make life as difficult as it can possibly be. Right? Glue mom, glue dad. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my God. I love that pond green color. It's just making me so happy. Look at my OCD is kicking in and saying, what can we, coasters. This would be a coaster for a very large drink, but if you're in New Zealand, I'm imagining they probably have some beers that would fit on this. <laughs> this is probably five by seven, Carrie. <laughs> ah, it's funny. Um, okay, we're going to, you know, we're going to try this gate album. I mean, you know, I, I've never done one. Let's try it. Come on. You guys are feeling daring. I'm feeling daring. Oh, my God. I'm cutting into this paper, and I'm feeling like, oh, anxiety. Okay, here we go. It is nearly 8. I'm going to, okay, pencil right at my fingertips. And, you know, if it's not perfect, um, you know, I'll kill myself. No. Um, if it's not perfect, are you guys looking at the top of my head? If you are, let me know if I need to color up. If it's not perfect, it's not the end of the world. It's a distressed album. I'm feeling distressed right now, so it's perfect, okay? Seriously, if you're looking at the top of my head and I need to color my hair, you need to, like, let me know now. Ready? Oh, hold on. Maybe we should get the camera on. What What I did was, this is nearly 8 inches. Okay, hold on. just want to make sure the camera's over what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Dad's poor carpenter fingers are going nuts, you guys. Okay, ready? I'm cutting. Did we decide if we're doing this? We're cutting. We're cutting. Come on. <gasps> oh, my God. Thick paper to cut through. I need to be standing up. If it's not perfect, we're going to live. Okay. Look at that. Done. Oh, we all survived that, didn't we? Did everybody survive that cut? I'm not sure. I feel it. Okay, ready? Oh, yes, we did. Okay, distress it, distress it. Cover our mistakes. This is what girls do to their hair, see? They color their hair and they cover their mistakes. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay? Is anybody letting me know if my top of my head? The first cup was the deepest. Cheryl Crow. Great song. We're going to do it again, okay? We did so great on that one, we're going to do it again. See, this couldn't be like eight inches where I divide it in half. I have to like, I don't know, I have to do math. Right now, mom and dad, my education is paying off. Halfway between four, no. Okay, I'm stressed out about this cut. Okay, I don't care. Let's just go for it. I'm measuring too much. My dad's motto, measure twice, cut once. Only he measures 12 times and he cuts once. Okay. Okay, I'm really just winging this, guys. I'll only give this album away if um, it really does turn out. Okay, ready? Here we go again. Mm. Cut. Did we decide how we're binding this? Yes. Okay. Oh, whoops. I just cut through. Whoops. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to cover that part. Okay. There we go. Ooh, look at I mutilated my cover a little bit. That's okay. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Did anybody panic yet? Okay. No, I didn't do it. We're good. Phew. Okay. I better remember how these things go back together. Jeez. I'm going to have like 1,800 parts to this album. Okay, let's make this the back cover. There. That's the back cover. This is this, okay? And then we have our crackled and distressed ones, which we haven't we're not gonna be able to put in. Look, here's our album. Ready? Hello. Okay, ready? There we go. I wonder what that well, that's a nice saying. It says, what beautiful things birds are. I'm not a bird person, but that's okay. I'm a butterfly girl. Okay? That's how it's going. And then I will cut this next one. Okay? And then how this is going to go together, just so you know, I do have a plan. Ready? We're going to zutter it. Hello, zutter. Okay? And then we're going to take these handy dandy things, which I'll get spiral. I probably have some cool colors. I don't know about this color. And then we're going to spiral it on each side. Okay? I did have a plan. Okay? <laughs> I really didn't have a plan. But I don't want to do that yet because I'm going to need my other pages. And it hasn't been 20 minutes for a crackle. And I do want to talk to you guys. So this... And are you guys going to let me like do the rest of this, or do I totally have to do this in another class? <laughs> Lizzie, are you being smart? You love this plan in quotes. How many pages total? Okay, the question is how many pages total? Well, it really depends on your book, but I'm doing a back cover, another page, another page. I was going to do this because I want two painted pages, and then I have one other, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Everything in odd numbers, five happens to be my favorite number. So, no, I didn't have a plan. This this is just coming together. I thought it would be something with a board book, okay? So we're going to decorate this front cover real quick, though, because we can't just leave it, right? Okay? And I'm going to get some flowers out of my, here, I'm going to switch cameras so you can all know that I'm going to the secret flower compartment. Ready? I don't want you to think I'm walking away and doing anything secretive. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Here I am. I'm going to get some flowers. Oh, 
Ooh, let's get some buttons too. Buttons. Buttons. And flowers. Oh, flowers are really hard to pick out. There's flowers. Eh. All right. Ooh, I'm not overly excited about my flowers. Okay, coming back. Okay. Okay, I went to the secret flower department, consulted with my secret flower connoisseurs, and they picked out these, but now I'm really unhappy. I should go back, but um, you know what? I'll live. I'll live. I'm going to aim this down more. Make sure I'm on my project here, okay? Look at this whole crookedness is bothering me. Good. <laughs> I went and consulted with the secret flower people, and the secret flower people said, you know what these flowers are? If you guys have seen my classes before, you all know what these flowers are. Please, somebody just tell people. These are not expensive flowers. It's horrible. Okay. Does anybody know? Does anybody know what my flower secret is? I told you I'm the world's cheapest scrapbooker and I have no reason to be. I should just go use the flowers that I have that are very expensive. Okay. And I could probably, by the way, I could probably tint some of these with uh, Tattered Angel's Mist. That's another secret I use. Oh, not a very big secret, is it? <gasps> Ooh, these are pretty. These are... Um, Move the camera a bit to the left. Ready? Okay. These flowers. Is that better, guys? Okay, these flowers. Michael's flowers, I just tear them apart. Okay. No big secret. Look at, I'm just tearing the little plastic things off. Ooh, I don't want to cover up all those beautiful flowers over there. And I'm going to put a little hinge or something on the front part of this or some ribbon or something like that. So I don't really want to cover those up. My button. There, I also went to the button locker. Okay. A lot of secrets being shared here tonight. Hope you girls know. Delving into the big secret flower bin. Oh, look at that. Oh, boom. Bam. How's my... Um, Yes, flat back pearls. Look at, look at, look at. Okay, that is I, that is happiness right there for me. I am feeling the love here. I am going to do some sort of ribbon or something to tie this together. I have a plan. <laughs> Did anybody hear about my plan? My plan is to... Oh, I should put these paintbrushes in that water. Um, I have a plan. And it, this album is going to close up. And now you're wondering what glue to use. Who has the answer to stick down a good flower? Come on. You all know. Come on. La, 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 la. There we go. That's what you use to stick a flower down. 450. Look at everybody's going nuts. 450. Ooh, should we pick out ribbon too? Come on. We, we might as well just pick out the whole kit and caboodle while we're sitting here. Okay, I'm going to the ribbon locker. Here's the ribbon locker. Ooh, yuck, that is ugly green. Oh, look at that green. Oh, my goodness. That is just happy green right there. Oh, I am feeling the love on this. I don't care what I do with that little hinge thing. I, I had an idea, but I'm thinking my idea. Oh, I don't know. See, I was going to stick two brads right here and then leave extra ribbon and be able to tie it. Oh, yeah. 450 works, too. I mean, um, liquid scrap dots works, too. Somebody, um, Mrs. Fence just said, I, yeah. I'm just a four, but look at this ribbon. Who is feeling the, dark, the darker green? Okay, ditch. But I just want that to go along the bottom. Okay, you know what? Just glue it. We'll figure out how we're going to close it later. Life goes on. Okay, let's just glue this. Okay, glue it. Ready? 
I, whoops, <laughs> whoops. Okay, take it easy on the glue thing. Okay, I love about 450. It's quick drying, hence the name. And, 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 it dries clear. So all of these, like you got it out of the edge, it doesn't look perfect. I don't care, okay? And the whole thing is just, we're, we're flying with it tonight. Okay, and that's going to have to sit in there for just a minute. Come on. I don't want it to look perfect. Got a little bit over. That's okay. Oh, where's the end of this stuff? Where did I get this? I don't have I have no idea who makes this, so nobody asked me. It's kind of fun though. Okay. Don't ask me who makes that. Is somebody going, who makes that right now? I know somebody's probably saying that to me. Okay, whoops. Oh, golly gee. I don't know who makes that. That is some fun ribbon right there. That is some good time. Good? Seam binding? I don't think it's seam binding because it's it's like ribbony with the sewing down the middle. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Where did I get that? It's beautiful though, isn't it? Okay. I'll stop going on about that ribbon. I'll have to find out. I mean, I'm sure there's resources. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know. Maybe it is seam binding. I, I could... I, I don't know. Michaela, I showed off your art project to everybody, just so you know. Yeah. Okay, ready? 450 for those flowers, too. Yeah. I could miss those flowers up, but I'm not too worried about them. Yeah, I think so. Okay. The great thing about 450 is it doesn't really... Um, it doesn't come through those flowers. Um, I'm just gluing. What I do sometimes to these flowers, if they're not exactly the color I want, I will um, I will miss them with Tattered Angels. But I don't know. I just want this to... I don't know. I just want this... I want it... I don't I just want it to go together. That's what I want. I don't want to be sitting here making decisions. I've had to make decisions all day. It really wasn't fun, so let's let's know decisions. Okay, look at. Okay, again about that 450, it's quick drying. I'm just adding gobs of it. I don't even Okay. And then once that hardens, and I'm going to use the same thing for the buttons. I'm going with green. Whoops. Hello. Stick down. Okay, good. If it shows through the buttonholes, not a worry. It's going to dry clear. Now, who said they travel 100 miles to get uh, Helmer? Who's speaking Spanish, Mrs. Fence? Muy bueno. Okay. Everything about this stuff dries clear. So I am just, I don't know, I'm just being reckless right now. It's like reckless creativity. Okay. Now this part I'm going to hold down a little bit. Let's give it a little finger. <laughs> Lizzie, really? Yeah, 450 is a can't live without. Yeah, I would, you know what, I gotta say, girls, I'm spoiled in the glue department, and I know that. I'm just gonna wipe, because I really did over glue. Um, lot, you know, just remember, I know several of our retailers are online, but if you have a local store and you want me to contact them, let me know. I will contact them and say, please order. Okay. I'm just giving, I'm just making sure this sticks down. Would love a never-ending supply of Helmer. You know what? Girls, I feel blessed every single day. Not only because I get to just, I don't know, I get to do what I love, but I get, I mean, you guys are amazing. The fact that this many people are tuned in to watch me glue is a dream come true. Um, please contact Treasured Memories in Edmonton. 
would you please, um, Classy D, would you email info at helmarusa.com and I will contact them. I, I, uh, I wish I had memory, but tomorrow this will all be, you know, uh, tomorrow I'll be looking back at this project. I will tell you this 450 if you get it, you know, you just rub it off. Uh, thank you for doing that. I would love to th say I would remember to email. Okay. I just want to make sure those are all glued down because my flowers are really thick. The other thing is the liquid scrap dots, which I'm going to use for our title. And I don't know, I'm going to probably see this project on my desk tomorrow night and be like, I just have to finish it. But maybe I should do another video. Or I could do it, I could just tape record me, you know, rec tape record me. <laughs> I could put it on an 8-track. <laughs> oh, Cindy, that's funny. Um, good. Dry. Perfect. Love it. Oh. Stop hitting the camera. Okay, ribbon must go away. Bye, ribbon. I think what I'll do is I will do something little in the middle. <laughs> little in the middle. Oh, I don't like this button. I This button is so bugging me. I just threw it away. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it laid down. Everything about it made me unhappy. Mm, yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay. That makes me happier. Good. Thank you. That ribbon, that button was so ugly. I cannot, uh, one thing on this project will just set the whole world on fire for me. Yeah, buttons got to go. Look at now. Now I have buttons everywhere. Buttons are my favorite thing. Buttons and ribbon. I think what I'm going to do is put a little, um, Okay, 735 girls. We've already started the album. And I don't know what this album's going to be. I mean, I'm wondering if I, should, if I should just give it away. Finish it and give it away. So somebody's got to tell me, what should we make this album? It's just happy. I mean, I always feel like I have to title everything. All right, I think we've done enough for tonight. But I'm going to use Liquid Scrap Dots. A drawing for the album. Oh, I'd love to draw. I could draw all over this thing. Oh, a drawing for the album. Oh, you want me? You know what? Maybe I will just get it. I'll, uh, maybe I will just give it away. No, I don't have to go, but I always say I want to keep these to an hour. I'll keep going. For heaven's sakes, I'll craft all night. I get paid the same to be here all night. Uh, how are you going to bind the right side through the flowers? Oy vey. Uh, I want to throw it through that unibind. You know? I, I, I'll throw oh. Golly, my, my buttons, I might have to pull those off. Ooh, good point. I might have to pull those buttons off. I don't think so, though. Hold on. I might have to pull my, uh, my two right-sided buttons off. Hold on, where's my unibine? Okay, she's right. Somebody caught me making a boo-boo. Man, the crowd is hard to please tonight. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that button's going to have to go. Those two buttons I'm going to take off right now, and I'm just going to, um, <laughs> no, uh, oh, buying the top part, oh, hold on, now we're thinking, people, look at this, I love creativity when it just happens, oh, <gasps> it would be like a flip book, oh, Cindy Lee, you missed the whole thing, we're going to have to start over, <laughs> Oh, you guys, binding through the top, that's like a whole new thing for me. It would be like flip, flip. They would be like little pages. I don't know, then, how would I bind it at the bottom, you guys? You guys. You think it would be cool? Okay, Glue Dad is going to take his, uh, his drill press out. My dad is so the right person for the right job. One day I'm just going to do a little tour for the um, class of my studio and where he put all the sockets for me. And yeah, so uh, we're gonna do this through the top. Oh, I'm getting so nervous right now. Things are making me nervous, people. Okay, all right, so through the top. We're gonna do it through the top. Then I don't have to go through these buttons. Bind, hold on, can Glue Dad adopt me? No, I'm sorry, Glue Dad is very busy with Glue Mom and Glue Daughter. And he has projects for a lifetime. <laughs> and then he has a glue granddaughter, which I know he's making a project for right now, too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to surprise everybody. I'm going to bind it from somewhere. I don't know where. I'm feeling really binded right now. <laughs> that would make you my sister, Carrie. I'm okay with that. Carrie sent me a really pretty birthday card. Right glue for the right job. I'm telling you, when I first started working with Helmer, somebody said to me, why do you have so many glues? It's the right tool for the right job. Okay, yeah, we're going to bind it from somewhere. And then ultimately I will have uh, some sort of way to close this. But I am thinking we should just go from the top. I'm loving that idea. I mean, because we got everything down. And I think I am going to give this away with something. How about that? And we are, it's 7.42. Hold on, I'm switching cameras. I'm switching cameras. All right, coming back to me. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Uh oh. I am going to finish this project. I promise. Hold on, guys. I'm going to switch cameras. I think the sound is better on that one. Okay. The sound. Okay. There we go. I can move this up my way, too. Okay. We're going to finish this project. I, I promise you that. And there we go. <laughs> Glue dog is noisy. Blue dog learned to bark last week at my friend's house. <laughs> she was um, being dog sat by uh, four other dogs. My friend has four other dogs. So last week she learned to, to bark. Okay, use the dog. Um, so I'm just wiping my hands off from all the glue. But it, oh my goodness, another Helmer product that if you do not have this, this is Remove. I'm going to clean all my work surfaces off with that, and it smells like uh, oranges. Just telling you. Glue dog is an ankle ankle biter. She only weighs nine. Uh, she weighs twelve pounds now. Uh, you've never seen this. Oh, I spray all of my scissors, everything you saw me working with tonight, and it pulls, it uh, totally just wipes off all your work surfaces. Yes. Uh, bubble gum, my kids, my twins. Um, and one day, um, this is horrible. I will never tell you this. Uh, does it take off makeup? <laughs> Why do you want to use it on glue mom tonight? <laughs> So one time, uh, my twins, glue twin one and glue tin twin two, and I'm not joking, one year I dressed them up as uh, um, thing one and thing two. My son used this on my daughter's hair. There's never a dull moment in this house. Uh, the glue, if you, the liquid scrap dots, if you have them, you have to have the rest of the glues. Yeah, glue, mom. Mom, you better run from glue dad tonight because this, this, I don't, you're not supposed to use this on your skin. Um, I am going to finish this album and I don't want to keep you guys on for two hours because I want other people to tune back in, but we should do a giveaway, right? I mean, I'm back. I'm happy. I'm back from inspired. Um, so I'm, 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 we're going to finish this, and I'm going to give this away too, but I think we're going to do another, like, uh, I, I think what I'll do is I'll record on, um, which puts the pressure on me, but I'll record, like, the YouTube video to finish it up. That way you guys, and then we'll work on something completely new, because we have to go back to our glue spotlights, um, and I'll make that part too. I want to use the liquid scrap dots on here, uh, on here. Yes, Inspired was awesome. I mean, I came back feeling so, I mean, you know, so many ideas. Of course, I, when I needed the ideas this afternoon to design this project, I just didn't have the time. Inspired was Donna Downey's um, Inspired Artist Workshop. She It was last, uh, she's done it four years in a row, and it was last weekend, uh, last week, I should say. It was the whole week, and if... Um, if you guys want to take, um, Helmer was uh, one of the official sponsors. It was great. Um, it, it was puking creativity. I mean, it was just great. There is a recap of us there. I did a video, a uh, photo video, and a video uh, that has videos in it. It was great. Um, it was 
they had Helmar Day one day, and you know the next day we were joking it was Helmar Hangover Day because there was just so much creativity, and we had such a good time. I think a few people are here from that went to Inspired. I think Karen went to Inspired, and it was great. Um, being that we were the official sponsor, I walked around with my Helmar shirt all week, so everybody was yelling, what day is it? Helmar Day! You know, and the next day it was like, oh God, please nobody, please nobody yell Helmar Day to me one more time. It was great. It was the last year that Donna said she's going to do it, um, but um, she's going to do it in another capacity. So tonight, we used the crackle, we used the acid-free glue, um, it was on the East Coast, Cindy, to answer your question, it was in North Carolina. It was in Concord, North Carolina. Um, what else did we use tonight? 450. I'm going to use liquid scrap dots, ultimately. Nothing in this. Um, yeah, I traveled to North Carolina, which is great. My brother lives there. It was nice, you know. But I would like to, um, I'd like to see more stuff happen on the West Coast, because I'm on the West Coast. So I've asked to be, to do a couple of things, and well, you know, Helmar is looking at comp doing a couple of things. I, I I think we should have like a Helmar weekend, um, and we do workshops, and um, we glue all weekend. I mean, to me, I I'm all in. Uh, Helmar has so many products. I could sit there and teach all weekend. So I'd love to do something in my studio. <laughs> that would be easiest. If you all could just come to my studio for the week, that'd be great. Okay? You guys just come to my studio and we'll just glue and, you know, have a few drinks and eat because I love to eat. Um, no, don't worry about abandoning the children. Let's just, uh, no kids. <laughs> oh, and Carrie in New Zealand. What, fly it in, Carrie. Yeah, road trip. Everybody road trip to my house. So, does anybody want me to give something away? Let's give something away. Um, you can go to uh, Helmar's Facebook page tonight. I always like this. I always like to see what you guys like because I'll do it again. And what you didn't like, I'll never do it again. Um, don't write that on Helmar's Facebook page. Uh, what did you like best about this page? And I'm going to do a random giveaway. I pick out a random person to win, and I will give away. What are we going to give away? Let's give away the thing. No, let's give away. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna. I don't know what I'm going to give away. I'll give something away. How about that? I'm going to give something away. So, Carrie wants the crack, and we have a lot of viewers here. Okay, and some of you are, are guests, but if you um want to go to Helmar's Facebook page. I'll give something away like Friday. Um, and I'm going to try and finish the album up too. I mean, this is really fun. And, you know, I I'm going to try and finish that up too. Nobody, Max, Max, you're not on Facebook. You know what I'll do is I will post this on Helmar's blog, which, I and I'll do it tomorrow. And I like to put the rerun on there anyway. That's our blog. And I will, um, if you post comments on Helmar's blog as well, I'll make sure and get that up there. I usually post the uh, replay of this. And it didn't go too bad. Not me, not on Facebook. So if you're not on Facebook, you can go to Helmar's blog, which is right there. And I will post um, the replay of tonight's video. And also tell everybody what I'm going to give away. Okay, uh, you know, I, I like to just do, I, I like to just get on here and be creative. I think in a couple of weeks I want to do just like a crop night where I'll just sit in here and I'm able to look at the um, monitor a little more and chat with you guys. Did anybody have any questions? No questions? Oh, thank you so much, you guys. You know, I could talk about Helmer glue all night. I mean, there's so many great glues, and they all do what they're intended to do. We haven't even used the V2 yet. Oh, I should do that. Oh, I should do a page of glitter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. I might glitter this up. And the gemstone glue. Oh, I'm going to have, I have ideas. Yeah. Oh, my God. Lizzie really has to go to the bathroom. Lizzie, I mean, you really can go to the bathroom and come back. 
Um, I, I think I'm going to glitter up something. Wait a minute. I can't. Mark. Oh, Mark with Helmar's here. Mark is in Australia. I'm sorry. I have not. Okay. What did he say? I got to go back and look. Is he being smart? Mark is um, the CEO of Helmar Australia in Australia. So he handles all the chemical stuff that goes into this to make it work. And I'm probably just the big mouth of the company. Yes, I am going to do a product spotlight on V2. I think next week we're going to do, um, Mark, you got to tell everybody good day. Good day, everyone. Then you got to go back and tell me what you were saying about me. Um, I'm going to do a product spotlight. My next two I think I'm going to do are 450 because I was waiting. Can you go see what is up with that dog? Honey? Go chase the cat away. Um... Okay. This, uh, I was going to, we were waiting for the big bottles because the big bottles of Helmar 450 sold out of the country and it is back in and it is shipping. Okay. Big time. I mean, that's why my UPS guy was hardly talking to me when I had like 35, uh, you know, boxes. Did I put Mr. Fence to sleep tonight? Oh, sorry, Mr. Fence. Tell him good night. So we're going to do the next couple, I think, and I, I'm going to come back now. Um, um, oh, Mark, Mark and I were in the warehouse, and I had him on FaceTime, and I kept saying to him, I have to go. I have no project. I have to go. And we were talking boxes and shipping and all that boring. That's why I said today, there are really glamorous parts of my job, and then the not-so-glamorous parts are the paperwork and all the other businessy stuff. So that's where, you know, he was, he was, uh, you know, he was keeping me occupied. Um, good night, Ralph. So I will be doing a product spotlight on both of these, but I do want to tell you, I'm going to glitter something up in this book. Okay. Any other questions? So go to, for the giveaway, go to Helmar's Facebook page, go to their blog. I will make sure that between tonight and tomorrow, the um, blog is updated, and I will tell you what I'm giving away. And I will tell you uh, it's just going to be a random winner that I pick on Friday. So if you go to our blog and our Facebook page and tell me what you like the best about tonight, and if you like nothing, then just, um, you know, to win the prize, just say whatever you, you know, whatever you could get through with. Uh, we had a lot of viewers tonight, and I really hope that everybody had a good time. Um, I so love doing these classes, and I'm working on the June schedule because our product spotlights are going to be back, and I love those. I love to just sit here and talk one glue. <laughs> What's not to like, Cindy? I could list about 12 things. The fact we didn't finish the project, I had nothing planned, um, but, you know, what are you going to do, okay? I mean, I think we should all just be able to let it go once in a while and just do whatever um, we feel like creating. And I love that I sit here and say, what color should it be? What, where should we bind it from? I, I think it's so, yeah, noisy glue dog. Please don't mention noisy glue dog. Noisy glue dog has been sleeping for one whole week, so we have to give her some credit. She's back and she's up. Um, hold on, I'm going to turn off the record because I'm sure nobody wants, but I'm going to stay on for a little bit and answer any questions. I really want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. I had a really great time. I, I could talk glue all night. And um, I, I just want to thank you guys. Oh, wait. We're going to show you Noisy Glue Dog. Here. This is the thing making all the noise. Okay. Say hi to everybody. Okay. Look. Okay. That's Noisy Glue Dog. <laughs> oh my god she's feeling better obviously okay take noisy pesky furball out of here we call her the furball okay I want to thank you guys and I will be back next uh, I'm not sure what our schedule is next week because next Monday is Memorial Day so I will post an updated um, I don't know. <laughs> Penny does need a Penny's got a Penny's got a situation happening here with her hair. 
uh, I, I will post the June schedule and I'm going to stay on for a little bit. If anybody wants me to answer questions or, or, you know, maybe we can, we can glue, uh, glue dog's hair back. Okay. Thanks everybody.